You're catching me in my pajamas this morning. Welcome to another Waking Up Wednesday with Jay Essence. And if you don't know, well, we're in the preseason. And the preseason is the moment I've given myself to kind of lay out and break down what this podcast is going to be about. And really, um, at this point in time, I'm just allowing it to have placement of my personality. And so while this is one podcast channel, it has two separate entities. And one is the Waking Up series. And that's when your girl wakes up. You know, the whole Spike Lee tribute for school days. If you do not know about school days, I am ashamed to call you a cousin get that fixed, get that worked out. But um, the other piece of it is, I think it's called Say What Now or Say It Ain't So. I'm still coming up with the name. Um, But the Say What Now is just stories. And so that part is really just the moments that I have with me and my homegirls, homeboys, and I just tell these wacky, funny, true stories. And so it just gives you a little kind of happiness, buzz, light feel to life. Um, The purpose of creating this podcast is, one, fans asked. And so I'm just putting a lot of thoughts now to a melody or rhyme or reason. Um, But creating a host or spotlight for a lot of the thought processes that has happened and occurred um, in my personal growth and in our growth of trying to become better than what we visioned ourselves to be, um, a place to rest. And um, there's a lot of thoughts that cross my mind. And I think the podcast ends up being a very sacred space for us to collaborate together. So I treat it as if like, where's my cup of tea? Here's my water. And we sit here just conversing, because that is the word. That tastes good. Um, about life and logic and all of those things that are L's because I love alliteration. I need a shirt that says, I love alliteration. I love alliteration. Um, And so in focusing a little bit on driving our conversation, um, this is two days before 2022. And, um, you know, you can get all hocus pocus, fivery favi, whatever, whatever you want. But I do think that the new year brings forth new awakenings. And um, last year, I don't think I ever set an intention. I just set a purpose and goal. And there used to be this event. I used to love it. I might do that with my homegirl. So me and my um, old best friend, shout outs to her. She's an ex for a reason. Uh, um we used to sit down for New Year's before we got into our get it girl outfits, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it would be about nine o'clock or whatever. And we would um, come together and we would pray. Um, and there would be like two white candles. And then um, we would go into separate rooms with notepads. And in our notepads, we would just write. We would have to be quiet for a whole like 30 minutes to an hour and just write. Um, Now, you did not have to write for that whole time, but it was just like quiet. We we were purposely quiet for that time. And um, she used to laugh at me because I used to come out with like five to six pages. Um, And she would come out with like one or two because I'm a writer. And then what we did is actually we would seal our thoughts and our hopes in a letter. And then we passed it to each other. And we did not read it right then. We waited... um, three months, maybe to six months, um, because I'm trying to remember like our birthdays, like it was significant. It was a significant date. Like it was like the time in between her birthday and my birthday. So it ended up being like four or five months. And um, then we would open the letters and we would read them personally. So I would read her letter. She would read mine. She would not read it in front of me. And then we became accountable for dreams. And we did that because we didn't want to put the pressure of, and that was really my thing. I didn't want to put the pressure of um, making you like applaud what I'm doing. I I do that a lot. Sometimes I showcase for the camera and you don't always get my hearts and truths in that because I'm just so busy trying to showcase. Um, We wear the mask of friends and lies. Um, And 
she would um, kind of, you know, do the same thing. So we would read each other's things and we would just ask best friends, hold each other accountable. We did this for like four or five years. And to me, it was one of the best practices we did because it wasn't necessarily about New Year's resolutions. It was about holding us greater to the person who we wanted to be. And um, of course, at the end of the year, we passed it back and yada, yada, and on to the next year, on to the next year, and are we growing? Um, and that's a practice I kind of, wish I kept up with because um, I do think it's powerful. I think the power is in taking out an hour to be intentional about self. And I was talking to someone um, before, I think any moment you can take, whether it's meditating, whether it's a massage, whether it's self-care, whether it's a bath, whether it's whatever, I think any moment you can take to be intentional about loving yourself, whether somebody pouring love or speaking love or praying love is an hour worth doing. And um, that is kind of how I got to this moment now, because it's kind of been tagging me and tagging me and tagging me that I need to be intentional with 2022. And I don't know how I'm still kind of in that blank dark space, but I know I need to be because even today I ran over to somebody's house and we needed to pray. And it was just on my heart, like we needed to pray. We needed to pour libations. We needed to talk to ancestors. We needed to ask and demand and wrestle some angels, but we needed to get to the bottom of what needs to be done. Um, and in that prayer, my biggest prayer was, God, you did not give us our dreams to let them go away. Um, you did not give us our dreams and let us walk on this path to let it slip through our fingers. So make it clear and make it known what our work must be in order to ensure that this journey is kept and is sacred and it stays aligned with you. Um, so that brings us all to here where in two days, countdown is on, baby. Um, I got to get intentional. And I don't even know how, I don't know if I'm doing the white candle. I don't know if I am going to sing. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to That's a prayer. I don't care what nobody says. I'm going to say, 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 I'm I know the answer will bring itself true. And so there's a lot of um, quiet music and intentional music and podcasting that's happening. But I did say that for whatever my year is in 2022. C is part of it, like the C, yeah. And so I actually already did um, like this major meditation where I just wrote down all these random C words. And I did, I just like took out five or 10 minutes I'm trying to see, I don't think this is the book. No, it's my other book. Let me see if I have my other book. I have journals. Y'all wanna make me happy? Give me a spiral notebook. Oh my gosh, I'm so addicted. But <clears throat> I um, wrote down all these C's um, and I don't know why, but C is my C is my thing this year. I don't know um, what's going on, but I just, I'm just feeling so tied to it. And it's like my C journey. And so I just wrote out a bunch of C words. Here's just some um, calling, cultivate, cope, consistency, cold. You just write. So let me, yeah, let me break down brainstorming. So one of the mistakes that people do in brainstorming is they allow themselves to be edited before the right. You do not edit yourself whatsoever, no matter if it's corny or what, whatever you do in that five or 10 minutes, your pencil leads the way. And the moment um, you tell yourself to stop, it means that you're editing free thought and free flowedness from you. So you don't, it doesn't matter what you do. So in this five minutes, if I wrote Colgate, you write it down. If you thought of conspiracy, conniving, controversy, like all you're doing is pouring into your soul and you're writing out words. And this was actually a brainstorming activity I did with my students because the moment we allow ourselves to edit ourselves in our mind, we limit what we can produce. 
And sometimes it takes the scraps to make the masterpiece. And that's why you don't throw away any trash in the beginning. You lay out all the scraps and then you decipher through those scraps in order to decide what you're going to stay and what you're going to keep. But everything gets presented on the paper. And so in this brainstorming activity, yes, you're supposed to write down. And I can tell you already, I did not do a good job of that because I did um, edit myself a little bit. And that's how I know I was not 100% open, even in my meditation or in that piece, because I was still in the process of editing. When you're in the process of editing, you're in the process of trying to find a right answer. You're in the process of trying to be perfect. And that is not what editing is for. Editing is to hone what was already put out. You must put out everything so you can hone through that, comb through that and bring out what's best. So you don't edit the editing process. You literally throw it up. You throw everything out. You blah, blah, and you just put it out there. So some of my C words was combine, colobine, continue, compassion, conquer. Oh, oh, chill. I was about to be like, what is that word? Cranium, conspire, cast away, control, create. Is that composite? Compost. Um, color, collaboration, and compound. And so that was it. Like I just kept on throwing out the C words, C words, C words. And then at the end of that, my idea was to find five. Um, and five for me was pillars the five pillars to drive the vision. And so in my heart and mind, I'm going to break down the five I picked and I'm going to tell you why it's important. Let me be honest, half of this podcast is just for me. Like if don't nobody ever tune in, I'm going to be okay because it helps me understand my thinking through process. Um, but for 2022, I am going to create... I am going to freak her out. Cash. I wanted to say when cash was more around around me, money, dollar bills, y'all. Okay, let me go back. Create cash, consistency, conquer, competent. Those are my five words, like without context. There you go. Um, and I'm going to break down the context in a second, but I'm going to tell you why these are important. Because while I did so much in 2021, I got off track a lot of times working with somebody else's vision and not necessarily mine. So the purpose of me doing this was to help create a filter for me to decipher what belongs to me and what's my vision versus what belongs to somebody else and somebody using me to drive their vision. I don't have the time to be caught up in multiple pathways when my pathway is not solid yet. And so this is the criterion and this is the goal for me to build the foundation. And so like that's the foundation, I feel like empire. But this is the foundation. So in order for me to create my foundation um, of what J Essence stands for, what J Essence Enterprises works towards, um, <clears throat> I am focused on create, <coughs> create, cash, consistency, conquer, and competent. Um, and being transparent, we're going to go through these. Let me go backwards, you know, because everybody always goes forward or something. Let me back it up and stop, drop, drop, drop it like it's hot. Um, competency. So I was actually listening to a guy named Dan Henry, and there's a podcast, David Never Sleeps, I freaking love. Don't think I miss an episode and need to go back and backtrack. Like, there's so much. Well, Dan Henry came on and Dan Henry does not look like David's normal guest. And so I was like, hmm, what's this boy going to tell me? He spoke so many gems. Oh, my gosh. In that hour, that was so many gems. And the biggest thing that he did say is that we cannot build confidence. He said that is the biggest lie that is ever told to people. Like people are always doing self-help books and they're trying to build up their confidence. And he's like, that is not the truth. 
what he stated and said is you cannot build up confidence if you try so hard to build up confidence you're going to have a fake aura of what's not real now the question is is why do you need to have confidence so for instance me in this agricultural field i'm a new farmer i want to be able to go into the room and have confidence in what i'm saying the only way you can truly have confidence in what you're saying is if you have competence in what you know and the key thing is when you are competent about a subject, then you are confident in bringing out that information. So most of you know me from Rwanda and, you know, the work that I've done in Rwanda. Well, the thing is, is that I either lived it or I researched it three or four times and had called three or four people. I am competent in understanding majority of the ways in Rwanda as an expat because I learned it, I listened to it, I grow it, I figure it out. And ask me about immigration laws, y'all. Um, <clears throat> Therefore, I'm able to get on camera and bring out confidence about those things. This water, yo, <clears throat> somebody's trying to stop me from talking. I got a lot to say. So the goal for me is not to build confidence. It's to be able to, uh, I got to say this right. It's, our, it's order to be confident because I'm competent about all of the subject matter. So whatever is presented to me, I must put in the time, energy, skill set, knowledge, education to become competent in that skill matter. So for the new things that I'm doing, I'm trying to get used to trading. I am not competent in trading, so I'm not confident. Um, I'm not, I'm working now. I'm trying to get my license to become an organic farmer. I have the course will stand by so I can have more competence in what we're talking about and doing things in the agricultural realm. I'm trying to have more competence about the laws and different things that's happening here. I spend more time studying, learning, asking questions, learning, listening, then leading. And when I'm lead, I'm able to lead in confidence because I'm sure about my words. So that is the word C competent because it honors, it honors so much the educational portions that I believe in and the asking questions and getting in these conversations and, um, you know, meeting people and driving people and doing the things that I do. Uh, it just really owns that down. So that was number five. Number four is to conquer. Um, there is a fear that I have. And in those fears, I don't want to say like I want to conquer fear. Like I have honored the idea of there's like I have to honor the fact there is fear. The fact that there is fear is an intuition um, of there's is something greater than I am right now. There is something that's greater than, than I am right now. And so it's causing me to doubt things. But I am able to conquer that. And so the big one was to conquer because there are new territories. There's new ideas. Um, there are, and I want to go back to new territories. There's um, areas I want to be in. I want my name to be strong. I want my reputation to honor. Um, and so I have to conquer those new frontiers. And so um, that's really where conquering comes from because in that I want to expand my territory. So that's where conquer really comes from, but it does lean way to the idea of this is new. So um, before we just charge out there in warrior mode, like what is it that we must learn? What must we be strategic about? What must we do in order to be the best, best battlers that we can be? So that is conquering. And I think the other piece of it is going to kind of segue into three is that I need to conquer my task there are literally like 17 different tasks i have in a day and can i consolidate another c word baby consolidate these things so i can conquer them in a more organized fashion and so the conquer word is really really big in expanding territory 
and be a good frontier. Now, I'm going to say this. Remember, I said my vision is setting the foundation. So in conquering, I'm only planting seeds so they can grow. I'm not necessarily running out to new territory. So for those who kind of knew, like I was ready to um, expand to Naibia, I was ready to stand to Gambia, and um, those things did not happen. And actually, it was not me. Like I was moving four steps ahead. I had it. It's just time and situation just did not allow those things to happen. And now I see it as a chance to hone and build and build a stronger foundation because there's something in the way that's a lot better that I can put my name on and I 100% agree with it. Three, consistency. I don't think I am consistent. <laughs> and I want to work on that consistency and people kind of say, okay, it's discipline or is that, and it's not, it's, I can really run around and I just expect things to get done. One of the things is out here, um, you have to be very much more intentional on the expectations that are given to people. And I found myself running forward a lot of times only to have the people who I work with behind like, yo, what's up? Um, is that the direction we're going? So I wanted to create consistency. I want to create consistency, one with the podcast. Um, I wanted to be able to build a discipline of this is what I need to do in order to get things done. I want to make sure that I have standing dates for things and not running around. One of the things that happens is because of the consulting and so many people moving, um, people are constantly like, oh, I want to take you to lunch. I want to take you to lunch. I want to take you to lunch. And then what happens is I'm going to like four different lunches in a week. And that lunchtime was actually work time or prep time because my time is, you know, in different places. And then I'm staying up late or I'm waking up super early and getting things done by pulling in my schedule and doing things in a consistent matter like and that's the key thing you guys know monday monday meetings meetups with jay essence um usually at sheila's honey um and until we get past um the COVID restrictions i feel like my battery's going down it's moved to a different location but creating that piece to make sure that's there. That's one reason why the Relocate to Rwanda course is there, because it consistently gives all the information. It's not that I forgot to say anything or anything's not done. Everything's uploaded to there. There's a consistent meetup. That is valuable, so valuable. And so creating more avenues where you can consistently get J essence, that you can consistently do things, that I can know that these are my things. Um, if you ask my partners, we now meet every single blah, 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 day, whatever, so we can talk about agricultural farms. Like I'm really learning to hone down my timings so I can put in consistency pieces. Cash, number two. Why lie? That's the first thing, like why lie? I think that too many times in our lives that we have to be humble or, you know, like I need, no, I need money. I'm going to say it right there for the universe. Woo -woo. I need money. I want money. I will have money and I will harvest money. And so I guess that this is the time where I stopped lying to myself. Like, um, this is the first time I ever wrote in my journal, like, yo, I need to be rich. Yo, six figures. So yo, this, yo, this. Like, number one, I'm seeing it all the time on Instagram and not saying they're not flossing or anything, but it's like, no, no, I want to be one of those people. I want to know what it's like to be a steward in order to honor that. I want to make sure that I can invest in these things and do these things. And so um, me just writing cash out is me putting 100% in the atmosphere, universe, your girl right here, right here, your girl. But then the other piece of it is, is generating, manifesting, building, and blessing all of those things with cash. And like really um, being intentional with the vision of this is a business. Like what I do is a business because it takes up so much time. So how do we generate business? How do I take care of business costs? How do I create a system that operates in that function? And how can I turn around and do that? So cash is it. So it sounds crazy, but I'm going to sit there and say it like, I want to be rich. That one used to be a song about that. But, um, and, and it's not a material. Oh, that's my eye. I want to be moisturized too. How about that? How about let's work on this moisturization? Um, but 
being smart with that. And so, like I said, there's classes, there's courses, there's a lot of how do I generate cash and collect it and then disperse it in proper ways and uh, being intentional with those conversations, being intentional with that audio, being intentional with those things, intentional with not having to work a job in order to make things meet, but to, for me to be the person who does that um, and creates that avenue for other people. And so if I cannot be honorable in the position that I'm asking to be in and hide behind humbleness and meekness, oh, please bless me when you get a chance. Um, dude, no. Out people, out there, people, like, let's be honest, people out there getting it, okay? Um, nobody's asking Jordan, oh, ble- can you please wear my shoe when you get a chance? You know, just humble me and allow my empire to grow. People out there getting it, and then they bopping each other across the head and stuff just to get some Jordans and stuff. Jordan, don't even get back to the community. Oops, I said it out loud. Ah, shouldn't have. But, um... Yeah, um, I'm kind of over, like, those of us who want to do the work should be humbly groveling for the ability to do the work, and people out straight taking it, taking it, with no question. Number one, create. Your girl's a creator. In fact, I actually wanted to get tatted at one point that said to create. Um, I do. It's like, it's a real cute tat like I want right here. It's going to be create and it's going to be Africa right there. Like, well, um, but I have bad skin. Ha! Um, I have recognized that when I create things, I empower the world around me. And so I don't want to stop creating. I'm going to continue. In fact, I don't even want to put a negative in there. My, my art is creating and I'm going to continue to create and do those things and in my vision if there's creating not happening then that's not in the vision and that's not for somebody else to say it's for me it's for i don't know how to say it um because the creating portion is so intrinsic inside me like i love creating that's what i do that's 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 what i do um And so really working hard on putting those avenues in place and getting people around me who can actually carry those visions to help me continue to create, to create memories, to create opportunities, to create moments, to create stories, to create content. Like I do absolutely love creating. And so those are my five C's that help me be, I was going to drive right with 2022 and it just didn't work. So it's like, what you going to do in 2022? See me in 2022. And so that is where my intention is going to fall um, for the next two days until we, you know, wake up into a new year. Um, really kind of like they're hanging on my wall. I'm just looking at them and I'm going to know what to do with them. Um, I'll say this prayer quickly right now that these shall not be words god but these will actually be vessels and pillars of what i'm striving to be i thank you now for all that you've given to me i thank you all now for what i shall be um help me stay aligned in this course that you've given me aligned in the journey aligned in the vision aligned in the purpose i know you walk with me every step of the way In fact, I know that you've already cleared the path and you know what's already in front of me. So whether it's good or it's bad, you know I can conquer it. God, I know that with you consistently in my life and me being who I am in your child consistently, I can create all things. Thank you, God, for giving me the competence, knowledge, and wisdom to continue to grow. And thank you for the cash in order to bless all growth around me. Amen and amen. All right, catch y'all on the next one.